short horn herds were put together here in 1955. They had a herd at Crookston and one in St. Paul, and so we got a few from both of those areas. When I first came up here, I asked my colleagues if I what would you do, Al, at Al Harvey, uh, if you were in charge of that, that herd or more? He said, I think the first thing I'd do, Harley, is start breeding them bold. They were horned. He said, the horn breeders won't like you for it. But he said, I think that's the way to go, and that's what we did. Uh, we used the top poles we could get uh, for artificial insemination. And uh, this might interest you. Um, we used to get the shorthorn world, and so I could see what the winners looked like at these different shows. This particular bull uh, was the grand champion at the Chicago International Livestock Show, and he was owned by Cyrus Eaton, who was president of the New York Railroad. I told somebody, you know, I'd like to use him. I wonder if I can't get seen. I said, good luck. You'll never get it done. Anyhow, I got on the phone and I called Cyrus Eaton. I've never talked to a president of the railroad before in my life. I told him what I wanted. And he said, I'll be glad to send it send you semen from that grand champion bull and it won't cost the university a cent. And uh, uh, he did us a lot of a lot of good. The cows were indexed so that we knew which ones to cull. And I have to tell you, uh, that first fall of 55, I looked back over the records and there are a lot of cows there that they looked like show cows and they were beautiful cows. But they weren't doing too good as far as calving was concerned. So I indexed them, and I, I put all those cows in one pen and called the truck, and uh, we're going to send them out because they weren't they weren't bred. I'd have to admit they looked so good that when that truck left, I almost felt sick to my stomach. I was pretty sure I was doing the right thing, but uh, we we shipped them out anyhow, and it did us a lot of good. Uh, the short horns were used for classes in the egg school. The top bull calves were sold again to the area farmers. Uh, and we sent a pen of three of our best bulls to the uh, state uh, bull calf station at Lake Benton uh, for a number of years. And one year we topped the sale with a short one. Um, he was a uh, champion bull, uh, at least he was a top selling bull. And uh, uh, we're kind of pleased about that. Cows and calves were used for research. 